Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's lockdown attire is pyjamas and a dressing gown and no makeup just because we've hit that point in lockdown where I've been at home for six weeks now so this is the best you're gonna get. I mean quality content right there. Um, I thought for today's video I'd just do something a bit different and fun. So I went on to Donut Time UK's website. I've seen a lot of YouTubers, a lot of people, my friends in general, um, ordering this. Um, and so I thought I'd just give it a go. So I ordered the DIY donut kit from Donut Time. Um, it took about two days to come in the post. Um, it was quite pricey. It was £22. But it's like a whole big DIY donut kit. You get like four donuts in it and all your decorating stuff. And I just thought it was something fun to do during lockdown. So I am going to be doing my DIY donuts. So please give this video a massive like, thumbs up, subscribe and let's get into it. Okay, so okay, so this is how the it comes delivered. Um, let me just open it and I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like this. I ordered the Biscoff one. There's other ones where you can get like different toppings and stuff. It comes with uh, instructions. So I ordered the Biscoff one. So I've got Biscoff um, biscuits, Biscoff sauce, chocolate sauce and salted caramel. And then in here are your donuts. And yeah, you could just decorate them. I just thought this would be a really fun, cute little thing to do during lockdown. Um, as I say, you can get other ones with loads of different toppings, like sprinkles, chocolate, and all sorts of stuff. But I personally chose this one because I love Biscoff. Okay, so these are the donuts. Ignore this one, it's a bit squashed. So basically, you have to create a hole in the side and fill it with the um, sauce, and then you can decorate them. So we are actually going to use a syringe just because it's easier. We've already tested one here um, and we're just going to fill them up. So I've got my trusty assistant just making the holes and then going to fill them. Guys, also look how big these donuts are. They're actually massive. Right, it's now time to fill the donuts. So we're going to fill them with a little bit and then fill all four and then see where we get up to. And if we need any more, we're just going to keep adding because obviously we don't want to run out of sauce. By the way, also apologies for the noise in the background, it is the dishwasher is currently on. Okay, so that is all four slightly filled. We're just going to now add to them so they're more plump and they've got more sauce in and carry on till that piping bag is empty. Okay, so we've now filled all our donuts. We had to actually create a hole either side um, just because we found that where we'd create the hole it would only go like up to here so we had to just poke a hole the other side and just fill the other side. So they look a bit more plumper except for this one, lol, still squashed. But as you can see they're all filled with the Biscoff filling and now we're going to put the, is it caramel or salted caramel? Um, I think it's just caramel. Caramel sauce on top, we're going to follow the instructions because you have to leave it for like five minutes. Um, and then the chocolate sauce and then the biscuits and we're going to decorate. Okay, so we've got the caramel icing and we are following the instructions. The icing, the instructions say that you need to start in the centre, go in a circular motion until the whole donut is filled. So we are going to do that with the caramel sauce. So it looks a bit like that. Obviously, it's not the best decorated, but it's just a bit of fun. But 
Okay, as there's not as much caramel sauce compared to the Biscoff, we're not gonna do that much, otherwise we will like run out of sauce. So I think we're just gonna have to spread it with a spoon maybe. So now we've like spread it around with a spoon. The instructions say you have to leave the glaze for five to eight minutes so it can set before you can decorate. So we're gonna leave it, come back in five to eight minutes and then we're gonna decorate. Okay, so it's been five to eight minutes. We've now got our chocolate sauce and you've gotta like drizzle it in a zigzag motion across each donut. So it was a bit of a mess here, but that's essentially how you do it. Oh, that one is very messy. <laughs> okay, it's actually very hard to drizzle the sauce, so they're just going to be how they are. That's the best one. We learned how to do it probably on the last one. I mean, lols, look how messy this one is. Oh, we're going for a zigzag now. Oh, make this one look a bit tidier. Lovely, so they all look like this. Right, so now it's for the decorating. So with the Lotus biscuits, Biscoff biscuits that you get, you have to crush one up and then sprinkle it across all of them and then you gently place the rest on each of them. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on the crushed up biscuits. So they look like that. Okay, you'll see that some bits are a bit bigger than others, but like that, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've now fit the biscuits on top. Look how nice these look. They look so nice, I can't wait. To eat them okay so guys that is the finished result of our donuts i hope you all enjoyed the video as i say i think this is a really good idea for like parents um to, to keep their kids occupied for a bit but we just done it because it was something fun to do and we're bored in lockdown i hope you all enjoyed this video please give it a massive thumbs up hit the subscribe button and i'll see you on sunday for my next video bye